Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope you've had a fabulous week and are ready for the weekend. Today's video is going to be all about this autumn winter season trends. Now, I mean, we're not actually in autumn winter at the moment, although it feels like it. But yeah, for some reason, summer kind of skipped England. Skip skipping summer straight into autumn winter perfect before we dive into that if you could hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you never ever miss a video i post up every saturday at 3 p.m without further ado the first trend we are diving straight into this autumn winter season is tailoring now you guys know i love blazers blazers, wide leg tailored pants, that is just me all over, okay? I absolutely love it. So this trend is definitely right up my alley. The trousers, the blazers, the waistcoats, which I haven't yet tried on. I've actually ordered a whole suit, which I can't wait to try on and see how that looks on me. I absolutely love the fact that different designers have decided to go for a layered tailored look as opposed to just one suit and that's it. You see a lot of different designers layering up those suits with the trench coats and it just, I, I absolutely love that vibe. So I can't wait to try this trend out. Whether it suits me is a different story <laughs> because I am short. Short people problems, not everything suits me. If I am to wear something like this then I would definitely put a pair of chunky trainers on, my Balenciaga triple S's to be precise, just to add that bit of casualness to the whole look instead of looking very formal and, you know, I'm in business. Just a sprinkle of casualness. <laughs> We've seen Tory Burch, Prada, The Row. These are just a few of the brands that are showcasing this whole layered look. Balenciaga, Gucci, not so much layered, I would say, but they do have a lot of tailoring going on within this season's collection. Prince is another thing that is part of it. You're seeing a lot more prints on clothing. Gucci literally had that whole suit, which is like Gucci Gucci all over. Not quite my style, but for anyone that does love monogram, on their clothing then go crazy you've got that option right over there it's a trend yes the whole layering thing but it's also if you get a good suit then it's something that you'll be able to use over the years to come I don't think suits ever go out of date because you will always be able to use a suit at some point in your life so it's definitely worth a trend investing in in my opinion I don't th okay sorry maybe I shouldn't use the word invest but <laughs> it's a trend worth spending money on I don't know about you guys but as we get into to the autumn winter months one thing that is a common denominator within my wardrobe <laughs> is comfort i want to be comfortable and i want to be warm so this trend that we are looking at and i'm happy to announce is going to be knitwear we're going to be seeing loads of knitted things <laughs> everywhere. I'm talking knitted shorts. Yes, people, I don't know who's going to wear knitted shorts, but they have knitted shorts. Knitted two pieces, so you get the whole outfit, the trousers with the knitted jumper, knitted dresses, knitted skirts. Everything is going to be knitted this season, and I am totally here for it because I absolutely love good knits. Now, when it comes to knitwear, I always highly recommend investing in good quality pieces. Knitwear is something, whether it's in season or not you can never go wrong with knitwear it's it's timeless it's classic it's it's this thing that keeps you warm <laughs> out of all of the trends this will probably be most dominating obviously because who doesn't need knitwear when they're living in a cold country like this brands such as fendi Chloe, Isabel Morant, which to be completely honest with you, whenever I see their knitwear, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I just don't love the price tag so much. Tied to the knitwear, this next trend is the Apri Ski, but I felt like I had to tie the two together because it's both knitwear, right? And now this trend, to be completely honest, is not one that I will be following. I can appreciate the in intricacy intricacy i'm trying to use big words guys <laughs> i'm expanding my vocabulary and i can appreciate the beauty in the pieces but for me personally i don't think it's something that i could see myself loving in the next year or two so it's not something that i would be invest in one thing that i will always say is and i've said so many times throughout my channel if you guys don't want to spend the big bucks on something and a trend that is fairly new to yourself, then always go for the high street version because let's be real, all these trends that we're seeing designers bring out, these are gonna be very much replicated on the high street in different ways. Balenciaga had their own take on the knitwear, 
Pokoroban, Pokoroba. Do you know what? I need to go on a course to learn how to say all these designer names because <laughs> I'm terrible. Vivian Westwood. So they've all got their own takes on this Apri ski theme. If you guys are going skiing this year, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to go one day. Never ever been. So we've just covered the comfort side of things when looking at knitwear, but um, knitwear alone is not going to keep you warm. But fear not, people. It is return of the puffer coats. I don't think it ever left. I feel like it just keeps rising and rising. And this year is no different. I think designers have definitely picked up on the fact that we want to be warm and comfortable. So they've brought the puffer jackets back this season. The only difference is they are bringing prints out on these coats. They're bringing embellishments. They are bringing different, beautiful, bright, dramatic colors. I mean, if you look at Louis Vuitton, as if that coat wasn't already big enough, like <laughs> they decided to add some studs onto it to make it more, you know, hi, I'm over here. The boots, Louis Vuitton actually brought back those pillow boots which where would you wear them to like seriously just look at them guys it's gonna be a very very puffy season you've got Louis Vuitton doing their own take on the puffer jacket Balenciaga Bottega Veneta all these brands have their own versions of the puffer coat I think designers have definitely taken note of the fact that we are comfort creatures and we like to be comfortable the last couple of years we've literally been living in loungewear I mean for a long period of time, all you ever saw on YouTube was loungewear videos, like how to style loungewear, loungewear, loungewear. I will definitely be sticking to my neutrals. I might, might just, just, there's a small possibility that I might get a colored coat, but I have no idea what color puffy coat I want to get. This next trend is going to be a off color, colored one. <laughs> Does that even make sense? The colors that we are gonna be looking at are gonna be very washed out, very unsaturated, and in some instances, combining them with the bright, bold colors like the bubblegum pink or the cobalt blue, more muted kind of colors, paired with a contrasting high saturated color. So we're gonna see a lot of that throughout this autumn winter season. We'll probably see an outwear. I absolutely love what Prada has done with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yellow coat and the green shirt underneath and then they've obviously got a polo neck which adds that darkness here. I do want to introduce more color into my wardrobe for the autumn winter months but I find it very difficult. It's one of those things that you're just comfortable doing what you've always done. Before we jump into the next trend I'm just going to stop you right now to show you outfit of the day. Today I am wearing a white linen shirt with pink marbled trousers, my white orange sandals and my grey Hermes Kelly. As always, if you do want any of the items, it will all be linked down below. Now, this next trend that we are looking at <sighs> breaks my heart because you guys know I'm short. <laughs> I'm just about 5'4", literally just about it. And this trend, which is the midi skirt trend, is one that is suited, I feel personally, for taller people. I've ordered a skirt, so hopefully, fingers crossed, next week's video, it looks good. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna cry. Because <laughs> I absolutely love this trend, and this is a trend that a lot of designers, you saw on the catwalk with Dior, The Row, Max Mara, Laura Piana, Chloe. Now, the way that I envision myself wearing this trend is more than likely with a pair of boots, my Hermes Saint Germain boots to be precise because those just go with anything. Going all the way back to comfort again, comfort and warmth, we are looking at cozy, fluffy goodness. And not only are they bringing out coats, guys, they're bringing out shoes. Have you guys seen the Prada slides? Like, I don't know if those are like bed slippers or they're actually going out slippers because they look like bed slippers to me and I, I, I don't know personally I don't think I would ever buy a pair of them because I just they don't make sense to me I don't want to look like I just got out of bed you know what I mean like I was in a rush and I ran out the door with my bed slippers which has happened to me before in the past so yeah it is definitely a trend I'll be skipping when it comes to the shoes section of things but when it comes to the coats get your Max Mara teddy coats out because now is the time to wear them <laughs> Every year that goes by, I'm like, oh my gosh, please don't let it be the end of a trend because I bought two Max Mara coats and I regret doing that. Teddy Max Mara coats. So 
Now this season is back, you know, now is the perfect time. Get use out of them. I have a beautiful, beautiful faux leather coat as well. Again, with that beautiful fluff on the inside, which I can't wait to start using. The only difference now is the fact that they are adding a more tapered look. So if you look at the silhouettes of these beautiful fluffy coats, they are more tapered than previously. Chanel, Isabel Morant, Bottega Veneta, Balenciaga, they're all doing their own takes on this season's staples. Last but not least, and this is the whole 1920s meets 80s. And you're probably thinking, I don't know, sequins, right? Yes, you're right for thinking sequins, but we're not thinking like dresses and, and, and clubbing vibes. We're thinking more covered up versions of what you're probably thinking when you think sequins. <laughs> Designers have decided to um, uplift us all with um, these fabulously flamboyant pieces. The 80s silhouette very much present. We saw trousers, we saw high necks, we saw jackets from brands like Loewe, Paco Rabanne, Valentino, Prada. I mean, ugh, the list is endless guys, okay? This is definitely one of those trends. Let me know if this is a trend that you guys would follow because for me personally, I don't know, I'd, it's, it's a little bit too much for me. You guys know I'm not a big fan of sequins, so it's definitely a trend that I would never get into, but I can appreciate the beauty in some of the pieces. And that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the trends this autumn winter. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next week. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Take care. Bye.